Guys, we are looking at the Slug Shotgun Blast Femur. You can get the shotgun from the dungeon or I think from like altars, the public event activity outside the Red Keep, or at least that's what I've been told. People that have not even done the dungeon have gotten the weapon from that activity. Now we're gonna be comparing some rolls today. I got a roll yesterday. It wasn't that good, but shout out to Endless Fall who also got a roll, which we could say is a gun roll, especially on these Slug Shotguns. Now, we will be comparing both of these rolls together, but I'm also gonna be directly comparing this shotgun to my god roll good bone structure there's not many shotguns i have a lot of faith in this good bone structure is old faithful times 10 she's beautiful boys and very difficult to beat so guys let's get started first up let's go over the roll that endless has his comes with hammer forge rifling accurate rounds quick draw which is a very nice trait to have on a shotgun especially for our slug shotguns and opening shot which again extends that kill range by like half a meter it's pretty nice his also comes with a range masterwork unfortunately i did not have an icarus mod on his account to apply it hands down though guys pretty much any shotgun but especially your slug shotguns icarus mod is the best thing to put on them at least in pvp there's so many uneven surfaces in the game that even if you are like stepping down from like an elevation or something the game is immediately trying to give you inaccuracies so do yourself a favor throw an icarus mod on these things and that's really the biggest selling point of these slug shotguns over something like chaperone now the kill range for this shotgun was almost almost 12 meters i mean almost there was so many times i tried to step in 12 meter range like that 11 was almost 12 now again it's only hitting 190 damage which means from this 11.9 meters is the value that we're going to give this that's like the equivalent of four resilience or less now something that's really interesting is that whenever i applied high caliber rounds instead of accurized rounds i hit 190 damage still again high cal gives you plus five range but accurized rounds gives you way more range but it still showed a damage value of 190 but it killed grubby here obviously there's some rounding here and grubby was rocking five resilience so i'm thinking that throwing on accurized rounds does throw our damage up to 191 thus resulting in us getting the kill so to some extent yes range does matter and we went over this many months ago on ganora's axe what we established with ganora's axe though is that the range on that shotgun by default was already so good that you did not necessarily need to load everything out in range you just needed something like opening shot if you wanted to reach that potential 12 meter one hit kill range these shotguns though like good bone structure that has a default 59 range and blasphemer with 62 range both of these weapons need some range boosting stats whether that's a range masterwork or accurized rounds so i would argue and say that range here on blasphemer is more important to have than on ganora's axe now bringing us to my role this role wasn't that good it came with polygonal rifling assault mag genesis which is kind of a funny one considering it's a kinetic shotgun and swashbuckler now swashbuckler on a slug shotgun yes it can one shot body if you get a melee kill off on someone and you proc swashbuckler times five it has the potential to one shot kill opponents in one body shot or crit them for some amazing damage values that could potentially extend the range here on this slug shotgun i don't have the range off the top of my head wasn't really trying to proc swashbuckler just trying to get kills the main thing i want to take away from this at least in comparing it to the god roll blasphemer that we just looked at is how big of a difference is there between both of these shotguns this one is obviously not rolled nicely in terms of range it comes with 62 range nothing here is boosting its range stat yet when we looked at kill range potential i was still able to kill at 11 and a half meters which is not bad considering i have nothing here boosting my range not a trait not a masterwork like i said overall a very poor roll when compared to our previous blasphemer so when we sit there and we analyze both of these rolls there is value in the range stat and in our traits like opening shot shot but as Bungie likes to put it it's diminishing returns and it gets more diminishing the closer and closer you get to the ideal god roll long story short guys the god roll on this weapon may not be worth the grind if you get it you get it but that does take us to comparing it to good bone structure now like i said good bone structure here it's been an amazing shotgun for me i purposely have not reviewed it because i don't want to show anyone this thing it's like my sleeper weapon it's like my weapon i keep on me just in case things start to get hairy it actually has a kill range of a little over 12 meters which is pretty freaking amazing considering that the god roll blasphemer that we just looked at was like 11.9 meters now granted both of these are probably the same we're on two different maps Les is standing in front of the heavy box and grubby a second ago when we range test was standing next to it so the issue is that little bit of deviation in his placement probably made it look like i was killing him from 12 meters but it most likely is 11.9 so the result all legendary slug shotguns are capped pretty much at 12 meters even your most god roll legendary 
slug. This is done purposely to give chaperone value over all of these shotguns as chaperone has a kill range of somewhere around 14 meters. The main benefit that Blasphemer presents to us is that it is present in the kinetic slot, which is a benefit. This opens up things in your energy slot and for my PvE players, yes, it does do more damage inside of PvE considering that it is a kinetic shotgun. Now, of course, that 10% buff does not transition into Crucible. That's only for PvE. And when I compared it to my Ganora's Axe, it was showing a 5% increase here on Greg. Now, that could change against Miners. Thought it was supposed to be 10%. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Regardless, though, kinetics do more damage inside of PvE than our energy weapons. Obviously, though, there's pros and cons to both of these. Which takes us to the God Roll section of this video. Which role should you be looking for on Blasphemer here? First up, the Curator role is a really solid role. Pretty much this role on any shotgun that is a slug shotgun where there's good bone structure, Blasphemer here is going to serve you well. But even though we didn't give Swashbuckler a lot of credit here, there are some builds that can get pretty nasty with Swash. Rocking something like Swashbuckler with Frontal Assault and Knockout on Bottom Tree Striker, you can really start to stack some potency here together that can make you a force to be reckoned with. Outside of that, that's pretty much it. Both of those traits combine with any range boosting perks, whether it be Accurize Rounds, Full Bore, Hammer Forge, Extended Barrel. Those things are somewhat needed here on this shotgun. Again, they don't have the base default range that Ganora's Axe has. So having the range there to make up for that difference will be very beneficial here, especially if you're going for like a swashbuckler roll instead of an opening shot roll. Now for PvE, I know many people don't really rock a slug shotgun in PvE. I actually don't know of anyone that rocks a slug shotgun in PvE. You can roll with something like Assault Mag, which does give us a plus 10 increase in rounds per minute. It's kind of funny, this weapon also comes with triple tap. Maybe if you wanted to combine triple tap with Pulse Monitor, and considering that this weapon and does do more damage than its energy counterparts. I guess you can use this thing to take down some majors easily. I don't know, guys. It's kind of hard to recommend this shotgun when you got weapons like Imperial Decree with Trench Barrel. So many one-two punch shotguns out there, whether it's Prophet of Doom, One Small Step, Last Man Standing. There's a ton of great, great shotguns. And I just don't know if this slug shotgun is the better choice. As far as comparing it to my God Rogue Ganora's Axe, I think I would take my Ganora's Axe over this one, even though it's doing less damage. That's simply because mine came with Assault Mag and Full Auto, which is a very nice increase in rate of fire. So again, kind of difficult to really recommend this slug shotgun inside of PvE. You could just go with auto loading holster though. Maybe some swashbuckler. Would have been actually pretty nice if this thing came with like swashbuckler and maybe grave robber considering that it didn't come with full auto. That kind of would have gave it some benefit, right? Get the melee kill off, proc swashbuckler times five, and then continue on your way. Well guys, that is our review for Blasphemer. It's not a bad shotgun, but it's just like every other slug shotgun. It requires precision. Some people like them and some people don't. There's nothing crazy happening with its random rolls that makes me jump up and say, oh man, that would be nasty. Pretty much has the same thing that many of our previous slug shotguns already have. And considering that its base default stats are not much better, it's kind of hard for me to recommend this shotgun over other slugs. I will say the biggest benefit that it does possess over our other slug shotguns is that it has almost double the aim assist. Ganora's Axe, Unification, Good Bone Structure, all have an aim assist between like 20, 25 to 35. Whereas Blasphemer has an aim assist value value of a whopping 61 and playing with the controller here on pc i felt like the shots were pretty sticky like almost in line with chaperone so again this may actually be a better shotgun for console users and being a kinetic weapon you may be able to use this with something like not forgotten like i know not forgotten and luna's how is still pretty decent on console now will people put dust rock blues down i don't know that's a great question but it does present an option which i'm okay with fellas and ladies thank you all for coming and watching and as always slap that like button like your mama told you right